Okay, today we're going to be looking at this charger it's for an HP laptop, 18.5 volts, common faults. The customers pulled on the cable, twisted and broken the cables on the the connector. Okay, so I've got myself a new connector. We're going to join that. We're going to be using what do you need today? Soldering iron, a multimeter, some heat shrink tubing for the insulation. Okay, so with the multimeter, you're going to determine which pin is the outside, the negative, and which pin is going to the inside. Don't roll for my multimeter. I've been in this game 20 years, and this one is just stuck. You almost probably have a digital multimeter. Okay, so we go to the continuity. Alright, so the right pin is our negative. Let's make a little, make a little mark there on the plastic so we don't mix it up. Okay. Right, so let's just clean up our, our wires here. Yeah? The customer tried to make a bit of a MacGyver plan here. Yeah? Let's just start again. So we're going to cut a piece of wider heat shrink tubing. This is going to be your final installation. So thread that on now so that you don't end up doing the job. And if you, and if you go ahead and put that on, it'll be hard to put it on afterwards. Okay, so the outside cable this mesh cable, that's your negative the inside that's your positive so we've got some thinner heat, heat ring tubing Help isolate the the pins. Okay. So that's our negative pin there. Let's get a bit of solder on that as well. Heat that up. Some on the other one. Not too much solder, we don't want big lumps of solder everywhere. Okay. Quick join and done. Don't heat it up too much otherwise your shrink tubing will melt. Okay, so that's a nice tight fix. Thread over your heat ring tubing. Okay. So how this stuff works, you heat it up and it shrinks down. I have a heat gun here. 
So you can use You can use a lighter or you can use the soldering iron. Okay, and what happens is that shrinks down and makes a good insulation. Alright, let's do the positive. Positive pin. Okay, that's our salt being done. Okay, what I also normally do in these cases is uh, put something between the two pins to stop them if you taped it up now to stop them from squeezing together also adding more insulation for the future okay so some old insulation from the wire something like this in between is perfect When you're making a repair like this, one, it's safe. The wires are not going to be touching and shorting all over the place. And two, it's not going to break again every five minutes. Okay, so that looks quite strong now. So now we. up the heat shrink tubing that we had threaded on earlier that's why I said do it then you don't want to be at this stage now and you've forgotten to put on your heat shrink tubing and say well I've got to start all over again if you don't have any heat shrink tubing you can use installation tape but uh, we're looking for a more professional finish but you'll be doing this for yourself. I'm doing this for a customer, so you'll get away with it. Okay. Let's give this a blast with a heat gun. And there you go. A new socket on our on our charger. Before you plug it into your laptop, power it on, stick in your multimeter and make sure that you've got the polarity the right way around. Okay, your 19 volts positive on the inside in this case and, and your negative on the outside because you don't want to plug it in for the polarity the wrong way, the wrong way around. You might um, damage your your laptop okay so um, this is a, a quick easy cheap fix okay and it's it's permanent it's strong it's not going to break again okay thanks for watching and remember there's always a fix